as it's an island girl and i'm back with another one for you today and today i'm checking out the uk ferry hovercraft ferry service all right um it's a how to fly a modern hovercraft so guys i don't know nothing about a hovercraft i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like i know anything is it real how to fly a hovercraft <laughs> i've only seen this stuff in movie period pipe blank but anyway, we're going to get right into this one. And it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what it is. So let's dive in. So if you're new to my channel, it's the first time here. Come on in, wrap back, put a smile on your face and enjoy. To all my regular schmegler day one, sweet pie, sweet tip poos. Come on in, wrap back, put a smile on your face and enjoy. Guys, I know I've been missing for a little while, but the kids were sick. They were off on spring break. And I'm telling you, it went from one kid that you don't know once it starts. It always goes through the whole house. So... They weren't feeling well for all of the whole spring break so that's why your girl has been missing but all right here we go guys let's get into this i know i'm chatting here we go now so we're in south sea right. we're now going to go across to the island i said we, you know, we are going to the isle of Wight today i said we would be so we're going on the on the hovercraft and i, I sent in advance an email to stephen behind me there he's, he's hiding there he is <laughs> who's the media guy for Hover Travel, and he's arranged for us to come behind the barriers and get some decent footage of the hovercraft coming up and everything. So, uh, absolutely fantastic. But it's due to arrive, I think, shortly, Stephen, isn't it now? About 20 past 12, should be here. It's going to be flying up the beach here, literally. So this is the only, what do you say, Steve? The, the only... Okay, he said it's going to be flying up the beach, literally. This is going to be interesting. Now, the reason why I pause, guys, you all know it tickles my fancy when I hear the, your accent. I can't help myself. Even though I don't understand exactly where he said he was because I didn't understand. That accent is thick, but boy, oh, I love it. You see that smile on my face. All right, let's continue. <laughs> so this is the only, what do you say, Steve? The, the only, it's... The only year-round commercial passenger hovercraft service in the, in the world. world. And is where's the one right? which isn't the year-round? Do you know? What? It's not many anyway, is there? Yeah, the it says there's the only year-round year passenger service hovercraft in the world? Guys, I swear to you, I think this stuff was fake. I didn't know that there's such a thing exists. All right, let, let's go. There's, there's one in Canada that you, is, happens when, when the ice bridge melts, the Inuits, the local indigenous uh -huh. population, they, okay. they, they can't get any boats to get across. Right. So what they use is they, the, 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 the um, Canadian government have set up a hovercraft service, which is, I mean, it's two or three times a week, but it gives them a chance to get yeah, groceries yeah, yeah. and posts yeah. and all the rest of it. Yeah. And then when it freezes again, yeah. The, the hovercraft's not used. Right. That's, that's quite, obviously quite <clears throat> important. Um, there there wow. are a few that are sort of much more unknown about around the, the, the river borders between Russia and China. Right. Again, but they're not scheduled in any way. Yeah. yeah. I think you're just lucky you turn up and you might yeah. be able to use one. So Maybe, this is yeah. the one that this is the... And we get people coming from around the world to see it. So yeah. Is what? this... Is this wow. uh, they made in the UK. Obviously, it's a, yep. UK, it's a British invention, isn't it? Yeah, but, but they were made okay. in Southampton. Oh, really? Right. And those ones I was talking to you about, they're actually being made even closer in Portchester. Oh, yeah. really? Just, just oh, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. So, so, yeah, they're building those ones there. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's great because it was invented in Britain, yeah. made and manufactured, designed in Britain, and now it's operated and nice. maintained in Britain. So, Fantastic. Nice. Um, That's what I like we are. That. So, what do they run on then? I know. I... Uh, I, I love that when a country makes its own stuff, services it, it don't have to ship to get parts anywhere. Everything is done. That's amazing right there. Wow. They run on then? Are they uh, diesel? Diesel, diesel yeah. yeah. Two, two turbo diesels. Two, yeah, okay. Um, man and, engines from Germany. And most of the power is in lifting it up, is it? Or? Well, I, I, the split changes. Yeah, okay. Because how they, 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 they actually fly it, that would be a yeah. pilot question. But yeah. basically, once, once you've got it lifted, yeah. and then the, the, the skirt, the rubber bit, the yeah. black bit, is yeah. holding that air in, yeah. then we've got no friction. Yeah. And it's very easy to move. Then what happens is the power. The fans move yeah, it. Yeah, the fans. So the lift fans are doing yeah. their bit, but that yeah. then gets reduced. And then they're looking for thrust. They've got variable pitch mm -hmm. on the propeller. Oh, so they can choose wow. where that where the air goes stands. to. They've got rudders to steer it, and then they start moving along. Yeah. And the, qu <laughs> the quotes from the pilots I get up that it's like driving a Land Rover on ice. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the braking is increasing the friction. 
Right. So you, there is no break. Is that, yeah. is that, so they reduce the hover, do they? Yeah, they reduce. They reduce the hover yeah. so it's not li not as, yeah. as slippery, if you like. Exactly that. Yeah. So I've done an emergency stop in one of these on the sea. Yeah, it was almost dropped. <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. It just literally, they take all the air it out. It sinks, yeah. They, yeah. They've got vents that allow it to escape even quicker. So yeah. They cut the fans and then they open these vents yeah. and it literally goes boom. And stops. Yeah. And, yeah. Stops. and I guess it's it, buoyant anyway. The whole thing floats oh, without, yeah, yeah, yeah. It floats. It's like a boat. It's like an aluminium boat. Yeah. How many are there? I would are they? love to experience this. So there's, like you said, there's no brakes. So they let the air in a stop, brah, just abrupt stop. Listen, I would really, really like to experience this because this sounds interesting, and I haven't seen it yet. I'm not scared of cat, but this sounds interesting. Two. We have two, but there's just one. One in service at the moment. Service at the moment or an hourly. Yep. You can roughly see. Yeah. But it's, it's going to aim up. That's the centre line here. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Gonna be, you can roughly see where the, the, the wettest patch of it's going to come. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's wow. going to sit here. It's quite loud. Yeah, okay. yeah, of course. Um, not as loud as they used to be, but it is still quite loud. Zero yeah. five rules, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Does the pilot know that the pilot, the pilot helmsman is he a pilot? It's a pilot. Does he know we're going to be here he at all? Knows we're going to be here gotcha. Yeah, on, yeah. We'll so it won't come as a surprise. Yeah. Okay. What you're going to find is it's, 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 it's not quite high tide. You're going to get a lot of spray at the, at, yep. at the bit then, yeah. and you're also going to get stones. Oh. Both of those are obviously not particularly conducive to camera, camera, lenses. To camera lenses and your eyes. Yeah, no, no of course. So, again, situational awareness. If a stone's coming yeah. towards you, <laughs> no. even if you get close spray, your eyes, you have to move yeah. out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you will get a bit of spray as it yeah, goes towards yeah. you. So just, yeah. just watch out for that bit. If it all goes wrong, I plan to sue Lamb Chops Rides. <laughs> 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 yeah. I like COVID, we adapted that you'll see the, the freight bit. We adapted it to be able to take stretcher patients from the island. Oh, right, okay. We actually run a blue light service for the NHS. Oh, so okay. The ambulance to us, yeah. We get on the craft, there's nobody else on that craft. Hey. The stretcher patients wow. wheeled on. They fly across in 10 minutes. Ambulance. It must be the quickest way across the yeah. by far, isn't it? We, we beat the air ambulance. They really? Can, they, we can go quicker than the yeah, air yeah, ambulance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. That's amazing. Okay. They can go quicker than the air um, ambulance. Amazing indeed, like the man said. I'm like, this is crazy. I see it coming, guys. And I'm, I love how he's explaining to him all the different steps uh, pro, uh, to protect him at the end of the day. So that's just awesome. Right. Here yeah. it comes, though. Look at this. Here it comes. Big old Union Jack on the front. Love yeah. it. Damn. Massive holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Back already. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. What in the world? It's loud too. Here it comes. Bird's eye view. Sinks. There you go, guys. I promise you a hovercraft. <laughs> There's a hovercraft. This is amazing, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is amazing. That's the way it pulls up and the way that it looks. Oh my word! It is huge, though. It is really huge, man. Craft. Amazing. It's sinking down. Oh, it's scary now. Yeah. And what he'll do is he'll run the engines for a little while because we like to keep them as warm as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep them rolling. Yeah. <laughs> then he's gonna, the doors are clamshell. You'll hear a little light high noise. Yeah. And they'll, they'll so the passengers come out the front then, do they? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 If you've been before, you'd have come out the side. The side, that's right, yeah. That's right, yeah. Out the yeah. Which actually goes back to when they were originally done. You used to climb in through the front. That's right. The very first one. Yeah, yeah. Would have been that same. It was. I went on those yeah, real yeah, classic yeah, the ones. Hatch, the, hatch the, yeah, the hatch in the front. Yeah, that's, that's what right. I went in. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the little hatch. Yeah. And then it was at the side near the rear. I think was it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then that's the latest one. So the old ones used to have like little chimneys that used to on the front. Right. So they, what, what's replaced that then? So those are called bow thrusters. Yeah. We actually had bow thrusters on the original design of this version. Right. And the pilots found that they didn't need them. 
Oh, so they've just removed yeah, them? Yeah, they used to be for manoeuvrability. So obviously okay. you've got the, you've got the yeah, yeah. runners and the thing yeah. at the back, which yeah. did that, but they wanted an extra bit of them. For and they don't need them? They don't need them, they're too skilled. And Very good. How did you become a hovercraft pilot then? I'd imagine that's... Yeah. Well, used to be a master of a watch, so you have to have been responsible for a vessel out at sea for watches. Yeah. And then you come and train with us for three months. Oh. But there are very few. We only got, we've only got that. eight. Yeah. As we always say, and they love this, the pilots, to be fair. But there are more Top Gun pilots than there are hovercraft pilots. <laughs> yeah. the, the, elite. The, elite. the elite. The elite of best the best. Yeah. Yeah. Best, yeah. Of best of the yeah. best. I like how you have to have experience with the sea to have a vessel before you can actually be a pilot and a hovercraft. But guys, you'll notice uh, it's crazy how big those fans are in the back and then it just eared down to nothing underneath the bottom. This is fascinating. <laughs> As I pull away, I'm going ballistic. <laughs> <laughs> Does he give it the other feel the need, the need for speed? <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're limited in our speed by the King's um, Harbour Master and yeah. the Coast Guard. Cool. But these will go, I mean, this is 45 knots easily. It's fast, it? isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And it'll go quicker. What's so miles an hour then? Because they're not smaller than miles an hour. Over, over, an hour, over, isn't over it? 50. Yeah, over 50. Over 50. Yeah, over 50. That's fast. That's incredible, isn't it? It's amazing how easy access, isn't it? Yeah. On this new one. Look at this amount of people coming off. Yeah, there's no climbing the steps. No. no. Fantastic, isn't it? Here we go, okay. hovercraft. Wow. Oh, yeah. Good to meet you. Oh, yeah. It's How amazing, so many seats, it's kind of big! Yeah, on the back, yeah. Fantastic, yeah. Superb. Oh, it's nice to be inside in the wall, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. This is amazing, I can't believe it's that huge. Ooh, it's going back out. We're off. A jolly day out, isn't it? This is, really, isn't it? Yeah. this is better than the car ferry. It's smooth, isn't it? So smooth. Because it's on a cushion of air, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, cushion of air flying. Flying along. The uh, stewardess is just going round, John. You want vodka and money? That's doing his cider. <laughs> ten minutes to the Isle of Wight. For ten minutes, you lived on the Isle of Wight and you want to go shopping, you literally could go yeah. over to Gunwharf Keys. It's quicker than driving where I live. Yeah. To be honest, it's amazing. Wow. And I think if you um, if you live on the island, the amount you pay is cheaper than yeah, if you, no, yeah. you get a discount. You get a much yeah, discounted yeah. rate, isn't it? So. Okay. So it's cheaper when you live. On if you're in a small dinghy or a small sailboat, this just goes straight over you. Just crush you. <laughs> exactly, because this thing is huge. Yeah. And 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 to me, guys. I reckon we could have got the bikes in there. I reckon there was room for the bikes in the middle there, wasn't there? And there's a ram, wasn't there? There's a ram. We could have driven. <laughs> Creeped wow. them straight on. <laughs> and it's there you go, up the beach. Just like that. Here's the other one. They've got two two uh, hovercrafts. Only one's in service in the winter. If they need to put another one on, they can. But that's the other one. Wow. And we're there. Ten minutes to the Isle of Wight. It's fast, isn't it? Let me sink down. One side there we go. to the next. Welcome. You got your passport ready? <laughs> and apps, don't forget to set your watches. <laughs> Hour ahead. Oh yeah. It's amazing to see that they can travel from one place to the next across the sea in 10 minutes. And to me, it seems like a smooth ride. Let me know in the comment section if any of you guys have ever ridden on it. And if it is a smooth ride, but I swear to you, I would ride on this. It looks amazing. It, I, I, I am afraid of water because this catty cannot swim. <laughs> I can only float. <laughs> but I definitely try this ferry, this hovercraft, man. It looks amazing. And I cannot believe that something like this actually exists. Like an everyday passenger fer hovercraft ferry going across water. Man, it backs anything out the way. The huge, it's just amazing. All right, Dan, the compilers just said if you, if you wanted to go up to the cockpit to do oh, the filming yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people amazing. have gone off, you'll stay up there. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that, that then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be well, amazing. Done. Thank nice. you very much. That'd be amazing. Going up to the cockpit. I like that. That's not easy to, it's not easy <laughs> to get up, is it? Yeah, blank <laughs> check's always a good thing. But I won't be able to fit up here. I can't get up. Can't get my knees up. Oh, you can do it. Hide your head. The pilot is bigger than you, of course. Yeah, I'll wait down here. The pilot's going to come out and give us a quick oh, wow. run through. 
So this is a standard marine radar. Yep. You can see right pier head there. There's a man on the end of the pier. Yep. Um, so you've got your instruments, which are um, a visual display rather than being. That's left and right engine, is it? I yeah. guess the, the two. Interesting. Yeah. Um, the MAM, which I believe was owned by Volkswagen, they are 1100 horsepower each, V12 wow. twin wow. turbo. I'll show you those in a minute. Yeah. So that's the left hand engine. Uh, most important things on there really are the water temperature, oil pressure. That's the same for both. I can go into more depths to look at different things if I'm yeah. having a problem. Interesting. Um, and then we go full cycle back to the. I like that he can check right away if anything is any there's any issue. He can by the push of a button he can tell what's going on, and then he has the radar so he can see exactly what's going on in and around him that's that is amazing it's like and say let's let, it's, it's a, how many horsepower 1100 that's 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 oh jeez reese oh baby here we go when i turn the ignition off they'll oh. they'll die the death then we've got dgps oh, um no. which shows you where you are your track position okay. time, which is okay, supplied by um Four atomic clocks in outer space, believe it or not. Oh, really? Not. So, that's proper atomic so nobody can argue with me. Yeah, that's the time. time that is the actual time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Marine compass. Yeah. Steer by. No cursor on it, but there is a heading mark on there. Yeah. One panel here for the radar. One panel here for the EPTIS. The what's that one? Sorry, Electronic the... chart display. Okay. Which is here. we have got the Isle of Wight here. Yeah. Uh, you've got oh. Gill Kicker, Portsmouth Harbour. So is that all the way to Heading Island, and this tells you where we are, and that's like, and that tells GPS. you where oh. I've been. Okay, a bit like a black box. These are my four ballast tanks. Yeah. So I can adjust the craft anywhere. Okay, I choose. well, putting water on there, water yeah. on. Oh wow! No, okay. there's water already in there. There's water, right? And that pumps it around the craft to. I do with this. Ah, oh, okay. Wherever I put that is where yeah. the water is going. Interesting. Oh wow! So if everybody gets on on a sunny day and they want to look out that side, they'll all wander over there, sit down and look out that side, but I can tell um, from the cameras downstairs, which are behind you, where they're sitting. Oh. The commuters like to sit in the front seats so that they're first, first on, off, in first, their seat, first, first off, off. Yeah. whereas day trippers will tend to go for the windows and people who aren't interested to oh, sit in the back. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I can see where they are before I leave. That's very important because if you lift up when you're trimmed very heavily by the stern, then the craft will just, just drag. Just oh. it, so has, it has to be on an even keel. So you have to, before you set off, you check over and seat it and adjust the ballast accordingly. Yeah, and then and as soon as I lift up, I'm adjusting again. Adjusting again, again. Oh, a little wow. bit. Wow. Um, He's. I love how he knows his stuff, man. It's just. It's very detailed. He's telling a look. I gotta do this. This is the radar. This is where I'm at. That they have. He said it's connected to four different. Well, um, satellites. That's that's a, that's the time. That's just, that's synced. This is fascinating, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is very fascinating. I've never seen. I've never heard. And this is just it piques my interest to know that this is actually happening in real time, and people sit and travel on a hovercraft, and it's it, it moves so fast, and it's so um it's to me. To, Technology has gone far away because look how many things that he have in front of him that he has to navigate through while he's he, he's doing what he's man. So we're we're, we're continuously moving ballast around. If we're in, into a heavy sea, I might lift the bow slightly more than I normally would to make sure she yeah, doesn't not start digging in, or whatever, yeah. digging in, diving, yeah. uh, ploughing. They call it oh, the most okay. severe so it's not situation. Rough. But better to be trimmed. Um, standards about a degree. Half a degree by the stern. Right. Over here, I've got my pumps, hydraulic pumps for the steering gear. Ooh. Same as an aircraft. We steer with these pedals. Uh, okay, so that, that's the, the rudder, is oh. it, if you like? The... Opposite to a bicycle. Okay. If you want to turn right, you push right. Right. If you do that on a bicycle, you go yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. And they're driving the eight rudders that you see there moving. Oh, oh I see them moving. Oh, the actual now. rudder behind the pedals, oh, yeah, I can see it, yeah. Okay. I see that drives those. Eight of them for each. Wow. Interesting. System failures, I've got 
effectively eight different types. Yeah. Because I've got two sets of rudders, I've got a, a tiller that I can steer by, or I can use pedals. So that makes it four, and then I've got a secondary system for both that makes it eight. Right. So there are eight possibilities of maintaining steering, which is right. wow. yeah, yeah. very necessary backup. Of Here steering. I've got pitch levers, so that will alter the pitch of the blades. Ah, the pitch of the blades. Ooh. Right. So I can that's zero, that's null. This is a stern and increasing. Sort of like like a that's helicopter, it. if you like, a helicopter sort of pitch adjustment, is it? Or yeah, a lot of power boats have got variable. Oh, pitch have they? Now, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or well, I guess those really high power. You don't have to go into neutral uh, and then go see. into a stern. Yeah, oh. yeah. I can be on full power and go from full head to full stern. Right. Wow. So these are obviously the throttles. Port engine, starboard engine. So that's zero. That, that's a cruise. This is that's, that's max. Oh, wow. That's, I didn't realize you had an adjustable wow. pitch on the blades. That's really interesting. I guess you can try an asymmetric, yeah, you, know, you can yeah. have one going ahead and one going astern, so the craft will turn Spend. in its own length. I suppose that's the only way to do it, isn't Rather it? With the... a big drift. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, with bow thrusters, you could reverse them. Interesting. Um, and then just power against yeah. them to turn it round almost to its own length. But Stephen was saying you don't actually need bow thrusters on these new ones. They, they, you can steer them so well with the... Yeah. 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 Bow thrusters are useful for banking into a turn. Yeah. You know, you initiate the turn oh, I see. You can with bow thrusters. Of... Right, I see. Satellite compass. Satellite compass. Emergency compass. Emergency yeah. compass. Uh, this is any information that's going on. Uh, when the alarms come up, they'll show me what alarms have been on. Ah. I cancel it with that one. Yeah. You can see that's been quite well worn. <laughs> <laughs> the cancel button. Here we've got really other information that we don't necessarily yeah. use on the craft. Um, it's it's direction, it's wind speed, yeah. um, engine start keys, the two computerised monitors for the engines, uh, two separate fire panels with three zones on here and service bay wheelhouse main cabin on this one. Yeah. So, so when you're so when you're in, in motion going along, are you constantly correcting ballast? Are you constantly yes. adjusting the pitch on the blades? Yes. And, and so, steering. So oh, it's okay. almost like it's really like a helicopter where you're constantly giving input to keep yeah. it headed in the right direction. Um, to be able to steer with your feet means both hands are free. Yeah. And they need to be because there's so much you're constantly going on. Wow. Ballasting and trimming and yeah. Adjusting on these panels, nav instruments. Wow! These, these are these are wander away. So oh, at night right. you'd have both of those on your knees. So what are they used for then? This is marine radar. Marine okay. radar. Okay. Detecting objects in the dark. Yeah. Oh. And this is where we are, where we're going. That's your like GPS, the route plan. Like the route plan. That, that's the route yeah. plan that we follow. Right. right. So we put we put put in a route before we leave, a chosen route. And yeah. that would show you as motorway lines on there. Oh, okay. And if you if you come off it, it will alarm. So you've got to so stick in oh, on. Okay. So you have to stick to whatever you plug into the computer. They say, okay, this is a channel we're taking. This is a motorway line. You have to stay because, like you said, the alarm will go off. Then you have the radar um, to make sure that um, if anything in the dark, you, you guys can they they spot it. Not only that, he said that. He has to be navigated, so he can't be an autopilot. His hands and feet is always working. This is just amazing, guys. I've learned so much in this little time, and I can't believe that this is actually real. I, 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 it's an everyday thing. On that, and it will tell you how to rectify it. Yeah. It'll give you a cross-track error and bring it back on. Wow. And it's very useful in fog for landing because you've got... You, sometimes you just cannot see anything yeah, at yeah. all. But there you've got... Um, your runway grids, so your you know you're on the centre line, line. Yeah. and the navigator will slow you down saying we've got two cables to run or 100 metres, you need to bring the speed down to 15 yeah, knots. Yeah. Nice! Yeah. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That is, I didn't realise there was so much to it. It is a lot that's, to that's it. Amazing. I didn't know anything about the ballast, I didn't know anything about having adjustable pitch on the blade. It's... And our two fuel tanks. And two fuel tanks. Wow. Oh, tank you can, can move the fuel that. as well, that's yeah, ballast sort of thing. Yeah. So, wow, okay. Well, that's amazing. It is really amazing indeed. That. Incredible. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, you could be up here all day. Yeah, no, no. All right, well, thanks very much indeed for that. Okay. Wow, I ain't gonna lie. That was amazing. I, like I said, I had no clue there was an actual hovercraft ferrying people from one end to the next. Within 10 minutes, you can get from one point A to point B. 
flying on top of water in a comfortable setting and the, and it is huge it is a huge set to me that's that can, that hold a lot of people not only that them wind turbines at the back boy i, I hear how noisy it is but i would really like to experience riding on one of them it just looked fun it looked nice <laughs> but that pilot has a lot to do in that in in, in that cockpit or up if you well, yeah, you can call it cockpit. Amazing, amazing. You guys are amazing, man. You invent it. You, you have the parts for it. You, you, it's amazing. It's the island girl. And the accent just have me in my feelings. <laughs> it just have me, man. It just have me. Let me know in the comment section, where's that accent from, guys? Because the, the, the pilot sound different from the guy that's actually making the video. But it's the island girl and I'm running out of here. I love you guys to the max. <laughs> Don't forget to go in the comment section. Tell me what you'd like me to react. Also, guys, there's a P.O. box in the description below. If you guys want like to send anything my way, the P.O. box is there. In the description section. Not only that, you don't know your island girl. Love you guys to the max. So come on in, wrap back, put a smile on your face, and continue to enjoy. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video.